Welcome and thanks so much for joining us here on the Owatonna Today Show. I'm Deb Gillard, your host, and today is Friday, November 21st. We are very, very glad you're with us. You, of course, can find us on Charter Channel 181 under the new lineup. Um, you can also find us several ways out on the internet. We're on Facebook. You can go to the thethirdhandvideo.com. You can go out on YouTube. Hit Owatonna Today Show and you're going to find a place to watch us. Um, we, of course, are coming to you uh, through the generosity of our sponsors, businesses, and organizations, who we hope you will tell thank you and you will patronize their businesses. They are truly the ones that help keep us on the air and bringing you this great information. Our premier supporters include the Advocates for Developmental Disabilities, City of Owatonna, Express Employment Professionals, Owatonna Public Utilities, and United Way of Steele County. Primary supporters are Amy Swain Hearing Centers and Little Theater of Owatonna, and our interlude supporters include Abraham Consulting Technologies, Bremer Bank, Brenda Bednar Mortgage Office, Glenn Mager and Tim Thomas of the Brick Mager Funeral Home and Medford Funeral Home, Brookdale Senior Living, Claire Bridge and Sterling House, Carlson Brandstad and Company CPAs, ERA Gillespie Real Estate, Fairview Animal Medical Center, Horizon Eye Care Professionals, the Owatonna Business Incubator, Owatonna Foundation, Profinium Financial, RK Electric, Snap Fitness, Steel County Historical Society, Steel County Transitional Housing, the Third Hand Incorporated Video Productions, and TPS Insurance. We, of course, as I mentioned, hope you will support these businesses and organizations. And if you or someone you know is interested in becoming a supporter, or if you have information you would like us to pass along on our program, either in our announcements or an idea for a guest, you can get a hold of us via Owatonna Today at charter.net or call Leanne's cell phone 390-5751. All right, taking care of business, done with for today. We're going to come back from our first break from our supporters, and we will be talking SCORE. Um, we'll find a little bit more out about that from three very informative people here. A little bit later on in the program, uh, show supporter Express Employment Professionals joins us. And so let's take this first break, and we'll be right back. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Dr. Beth Giltvet. And I'm Dr. Nick Vincelli of Horizon Eye Care. We want you to see what you love and love how you see. We're proud sponsors of the Owatonna Today Show. I needed more than just another dead-end job. I wanted a career, so I expressed myself. With the kids off to college, I decided it was time for me to go back to work and express myself. Express got me in touch with some really great companies. Now, I'm on my way to a great career. Express Employment Professionals is in contact with thousands of companies in need of quality employees. Come in now and get the job you deserve. Express yourself today. Kick off your holiday season with Advocates for Developmental Disabilities 24th Annual Festival of the Trees, Friday, November 21st at 7.30 p.m. at the Otana Holiday Inn. The gala is a festive evening of sparkling trees, live and silent auctions, and delectable hors d'oeuvres and desserts, all wrapped up in a package of goodwill. Tickets are available at Cashwise, Hy-Vee, Kotke's, Instaprints, or by calling 451-9769. Put some Mary in your holidays by attending Ad's opening night gala Friday, November 21st. Hope to see you there. Welcome back and thanks again for joining us on this Friday, November 21st. As I mentioned, the SCORE group is with us. Uh, we have Diane Wilson. Hi, Diane. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Good. Jerry Karstensen. How Thank are you? you? Nice, and nice to see you. And I'm going to get this right because I just met you today. Pete Johnson. You it was got easier it right. Than I had. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I should have been able to remember that. Yeah. Welcome to all of you. Yeah. Um, we're here to talk about SCORE, S-C-O-R-E, -E, and that stands for something, and that means that you are all retired from regular daily work, correct? And just, just so we get to know you a little bit more, people recognize your faces. Diane, you worked for a long time in... I was at Perfinium Financial. Okay. I worked for the Otana Chamber. And I worked for the uh, former Otana Savings and Loan okay. prior to that. So We were talking about that 100 years ago. Or yeah. maybe a little less. <laughs> just a little less. Yes. How about you, Jerry? A little less. Uh, I was with uh, Wenger Corporation for most of my career. And I was in sales. And uh, just thoroughly enjoyed it. Retired about four years ago. Okay. And how about you, Pete? Most of my career was with the Faribault Woolen Mill Company, really? the previous okay. organization. 
since then I practiced to retire and flunked. <laughs> so I'm back into <clears throat> I'm back into being a consultant in the wool business. Okay. And also uh, sharing my time with the the score clients. Okay. Oh, very good. What a diverse group. And so to kind of double on what Pete's just said, you do not have to be a retired individual to be okay. a mentor. Okay. You can score. just be practicing yeah. at retirement like Pete is. <laughs> 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 yeah. But to be a but but more to your but, point, you can be somebody actively still involved in yes. the workforce yes. and still That's become a yes. mentor yeah. with mm -hmm. this organization. Yes. But that kind of leads us to a little bit about what SCORE is um, and to kind of to speak a little bit about the history. Jerry, I okay. think you wanted to address yeah. a little bit of that. Well, it's interesting that you bring up that, uh, that point. But first of all, thank you for having us on this You're morning. Welcome. This is very important to us. But uh, uh, SCORE was formed in 1964. It was part of the, uh, still is part of the Small Business Administration. Okay. And the original meaning of SCORE, S-C-O-R-E, was the Service Corps of Retired Executives. Well, that has changed over the years, and, and we're really recruiting and have a number of our uh, volunteers that are still active in, in business. Perfect. And so the, the statement we use now is we're known as a counselors to small businesses. Okay. Uh, nationally, there are about th uh, a little bit over 320 chapters. There okay. are probably around between 12 and 13,000 volunteers nationally. Um, Owatonna used to be a part of the Rochester chapter. We were a branch. Uh, about three years ago, we made the decision that we wanted to become our own chapter. And we did something new and unique. We started out with what we called local links. So this chapter, and just to make sure I cover them all, we cover South Central Minnesota. So we've got Steel County, Freeborn, Nicollet, Rice, Wasika, and Blue Earth. So each one of those counties is a local link and has representation in there. Wow. And the interesting thing is that in, uh, when our chapter was formed in 2012, we were the only chapter nationally that was given that status. So, I mean, we well, really, really feel good about that. Yeah. We put together a good plan. So. Oh, that is wonderful. Now, in regards to that, who, where, where does the funding come from for, for this to exist? It is obviously a, a large organization nationally. There's a very small pocket of funds from SBA, but to the point where we don't rely on it, okay. except for some organizational things. Uh, technically, our chapter, and all of SCORE for that matter, uh, is our services are offered at no cost. Mm -hmm. So uh, the client pays nothing. The client does understand that uh, all of our services are confidential, and we sign a code of ethics to that point. But the funding after that is generated by uh, workshops, which we offer from time to time. Okay. Some of the workshops are for free. Others are for a fee. Okay, and these are workshops obviously related to the core of what right. you do, which is to provide that information to people who are interested right. in starting businesses. And we also do minor fundraisers, so to speak. Uh, we partnered with Habitat for Humanity and did a pancake breakfast okay. here just a few weeks back. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so we do a little of our own fundraising as well, not just relying on the Small Business Association. Okay, too. very nice. Um, and as you mentioned, uh, this is a a core of volunteers, really, and mm -hmm. it's, um, all individuals like yourselves who are willing to give of their time and their expertise and, and talents to help others. And it's a great organization in that the time that is involved by a volunteer is really up to the volunteer. Okay. How busy do you wish to be? Okay. How busy do you not wish to be? It's really very mm -hmm. open to us as to uh, how many clients will we accept okay. uh, to take on as uh, to mentor. Uh, or if we wish to get into a leadership role, obviously that takes a little more time. So things like that is very varied as to how much time it would take. And we're always looking for people to be uh, new mentors. Oh, absolutely. So uh, we certainly would encourage anyone that might have an interest to give any one of us a call and we can uh, discuss it with them. Yeah, to the group. But know, the, makeup, the makeup of Chapter 710 mm -hmm. uh, is uh, founded around experienced business people who have touched business in many different ways. Mm -hmm. And uh, one counselor may be a specialist in, in uh, human resources, another accounting. Mm -hmm. We can bring those people to the, to the uh, client to help them over whatever they sense their challenge. Well, even challenge just the three of you sitting right here, your your backgrounds are very, mm -hmm. I, as exactly. I mentioned, very diverse, and, mm -hmm. and and you would bring your own talents to right. the table. So I'm someone who's thinking of starting a business. You know, it's maybe just a seed of an idea. Maybe I've gone a little further with it. And when I come to you, what what can I expect? 
we would have discussion about what your plan is. What's, okay. what's your idea? Okay. And, and just where are you with that planning or that idea at this point? We would talk about what it takes to get into business. If, uh, and uh, uh, so we talk about business plan writing. We talk about uh, financing. We talk about uh, basically everything it takes because you need to know what's your competition. Mm -hmm. You need to consider many things if you're thinking of going into business. Uh, as well as counseling people who are thinking of going into business, we also counsel people that are in business. Okay. I have a client who's been in business over 32 years. Really? And, and, yes, and uh, had a dilemma, and there was no one in the business she cared to discuss it with. Okay. That's where we come in. We're excellent uh, uh, touches for mm -hmm. individuals of that nature. Uh, and she's been a client of mine now for almost six years. Okay. And, and providing that confidential resource. Absolutely. It's, it's confidential. Her. There's no cost to her. So we've, we've worked through a lot of problems that she had, and they were kind of big problems. Really? And uh, very emotional problems. Well, she, it was her husband's business. She lost her husband. She was the salesperson. She was not the administrator of the mm -hmm. business. She was not the engineer. Uh, so we got past, of course, she's in a grief cycle. We got past that. Uh, then she was having difficulties with uh, some tax issues. Mm -hmm. We got past that. And then the engineer passed away. Oh, my. And then she was left without the engineer. So we went through a number of things. She's in business today and doing well. well uh, but we still touch base on kind of a, you know, she doesn't have a dilemma right now. Right. But we still touch base but on how important for base. her that you were there and available to, to yes. help her through that very difficult, well, some very difficult situation. Very difficult. She was able to vent. We were able to offer some suggestions as to how she might go about getting through the, the mm -hmm. dilemma at the time. And kind of keep putting one foot in front of the other. Exactly. The best ways to exactly. do that. Exactly. And again, all of this 100% confidential. Uh, now I could share what we did. This I will say this individual is not Notana, some distance away from mm -hmm. here actually. So that's the other thing we uh, with the area that we cover. Mm -hmm. Our our clients come from a wide uh, area. Okay. So how does someone get in touch with you initially? I kind of broached that subject and said, okay, I'm someone thinking of being in business, but again, what now we've now addressed that you help those currently in business. If I want to get a hold of SCORE, how do I do that? Uh, through our website, okay. uh, which we shared earlier, or through the national website, which then would direct you to us. So uh, easier to remember is SCORE.org. Okay, there we go. Uh, but Yes, we're South Central Minnesota dot score dot org. Okay, and you have a wonderful partnership with the Southern Minnesota Initiative Foundation. Yes. Um, who who you're you're able to kind of locate there. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. And, yeah, so and, and each, each community has a different link, so it might be a chamber of commerce, like in Fairville, would be with the chamber, okay. different communities. So there's mm -hmm. always a, a place to make contact for the residents. Yes. Well, thank you for all that you do. It is proving to be, I'm sure, very important for either those startups or those yeah. in need that are currently in business. And, and again, thank you for, for all of you bringing your time and your talents and your resources and, and others like you to the table. I think it's just a, a great thing that you do. It must be very gratifying. Yes. yes. And and it's, 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 we're very thankful that we get this opportunity to explain our role in the mm -hmm. South Central Minnesota communities. And, and I'd like to just real quickly get in. There are 29 of us mentors. Wow. And so it, it we're good for you. Fast range of experience and knowledge and confidential and free. And we hope that people will remember that and call on you and uh, take advantage of that great expertise. Again, thank you for your time. Thank yeah. you for being here with us today and explaining it to our viewers. Yeah. Thank you. A little very bit much. more than what they might have known. So thank Thanks. you again. Thank you. We'll take a break for our supporters and we'll be right back. <laughs> Hi, I'm Stephanie Olson of Mayo Clinic Health System in Owatonna. We know that good health goes beyond having a quality clinic and hospital in our community. That's why United Way is convening community partners to reduce obesity, diabetes, and heart disease in Steele County. At the same time, United Way is funding programs that increase access to health and dental care right now. We're proud to be a partner of the United Way Community Campaign Leadership Team, and we encourage you to join us by giving a gift this year. Don't let the cold winter weather stop you from exercising. Keep up your fitness program at the West Hills Tennis and Fitness Center. We offer a variety of different membership packages available on daily, monthly, and yearly basis. 
We also have a variety of programs and services to help the newest of members get started and to help those who have been around for a while improve on what they are doing. The Tennis and Fitness Center participates in insurance reimbursement programs with a variety of different insurance providers that could make you eligible for up to $20 credit each month. For more information about the West Hills Tennis and Fitness Center, call us at 444-4290. Everyone deserves opportunities to have a good life. A quality education that leads to a stable job, enough income to support a family through retirement, and good health. But the reality is, many children fall behind, many families are struggling, and many others are in poor health. United Way's goal is to find long-term solutions. Thanks to a grant from the Otto Bremer Foundation, we're hosting community conversations this year to address these issues. If you'd like to join us, please call our office. Hi, I'm Brenda with the Mortgage Office of Brenda Bednar, aligned with American Mortgage and Equity Consultants, where closings feel right, right from the beginning. I'm a proud supporter of the Owatonna Today Show. Hi, I am Dr. Amy Swain from Amy Swain Hearing Centers, and for more than 20 years I have been helping people hear better. It has been a very rewarding experience, but so many people put off getting help with their hearing. Clients often tell me they wish they had started wearing hearing aids sooner as their quality of life was improved so much with better hearing. Call me today at 1-800-804-3361 for a free hearing test at Amy Swain Hearing Centers of Owatonna, Austin, and Waseca. That's 1-800-804-3361, where Dr. Amy Swain wants everyone to hear better. Hello, I'm Sean McNulty. And I'm Deb Gillard with Brookdale Senior Living, Sterling House, and Clarebridge of Owatonna. And we are a proud sponsor of the Owatonna Today Show. The Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Just talking amongst ourselves. <laughs> Always when that's so scary. <laughs> so sorry. A, I'm going to try to regain control okay, here. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the Friday, November 21st. <laughs> edition of the Oatana Today Show and we uh, we welcome program supporter Express Employment Professionals. I have Betsy Lindgren with me, owner and... Acting very unprofessional. No, no, <laughs> never. <laughs> owner and uh, another title that goes along with owner of the, the business. Do you give yourself oh, any other oh, hat? Um, owner because it's a franchise. Uh, my corporate is BK Lindgren Inc. Therefore, I'm president. Owner and president. Or queen. You or can address me as either. <laughs> <laughs> it is good no, to be queen. <laughs> no crown here today. Okay. <laughs> Josh. Josh oh, Archer. Gosh. And Josh, your role at Express is? I am the business development manager, and I do not have a fancy title like Betsy. Okay. Business development manager. That was your title. Sounds, That's good enough. Good. Yeah, that is a good title. <laughs> Just in, in a nutshell, kind of what, keep, what keeps you busy besides this woman on a day-to-day uh, -day basis? If you forego an increase, I'll give you another title. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a Cheers episode like that, yes. so where they give titles instead of <laughs> and pay, yeah, Anyway, pay we digress, them. but yes. what, 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 uh, what exactly do you do kind of day-to-day? My day-to-day -day is I go out to businesses in the area and the communities and create opportunities not only for the companies in question, and but also for the people in our community. Okay. And I, my job is to create those opportunities and have good people go to work with good companies and make a good wage in the community. That's it in a nutshell. Very That's nice. it in a nutshell. Very nice. I'm sure Betsy is lucky to have you, Josh. Welcome. Yes, welcome thank to you. the program. We That's why I gave him such a nice title. Well, you did. <laughs> No extra pay. Right? No. <laughs> she might jazz up that title just a little bit. You never know when we get done here today. Um, we wanted to talk about a couple of things. One is an event that you have annually, and we'll be talking about that a little bit later on in the program. That's the Refresh Leadership um, 2015. But we also wanted to address, because you're obviously very intimately involved with workforce and what is going on, and, um, and there are some some things to talk about. There's, It's kind of a changing workforce, and I know you wanted to address some of what's mm -hmm. going on out there. It is a hugely changing workforce, uh, and we currently, right now, Express has got two white papers available. If anyone is interested, please contact Express at 455-3002. Uh, the first white paper is called The Great Shift, Where Have All the Workers Gone? Uh, coming up in February, we will have someone from Express International coming to address 
uh, the public as a whole, for those that are interested in learning where, uh, where have all the workers gone. And one of the most confounding ph phenomenon recently is uh, in the post-recession recovery is the sharp decline in the labor, what we call the labor force uh, participation rate. Okay, and that would be all the Americans that are working and looking for work okay. and or looking for work. Okay, now our labor force participation rate right now is the lowest it has been since 1970, which is down, uh, it is at 63.4%. Of course, you're looking for 100%, obviously. Right. So 63.4%. Um, while the unemployment rate has steadily decreased and certainly has gone from the 10% in October of 2009, down to 7.4 in uh, this past July okay. in uh, 2013. Um, the percentage of Americans in the labor force actually did not increase, it declined by 2.7%, okay. which is a phenomenal when you think about that. So what do those things mean when taken kind of into consideration? I know it's, it's it, you hear a lot of things mm -hmm. in the news and mm -hmm. everything, and you hear a lot of numbers being tossed around, but what, what could that mean? It means that there are Americans who have quit looking for work for okay. one reason or another uh, because um, some may conclude that not working beats working, which mm -hmm. is, is a tragedy for our... It is. Uh, exactly, for all of us, all of us. Um, there's vigorous debate going on, you know, what, uh, what causes as far as the shrinking of the workforce. I talked about one, baby boomers, boomers of course, retiring, which is not new news. Mm -hmm. Wish I was in that group. <laughs> <laughs> Workers in their prime, especially millennials, uh, who are unexpectedly giving up and not looking for work. Uh, for whatever reason that there is. There's also those individuals, and unfortunately for having long careers uh, that were in their you know, 50s, um, uh, 50s to 60, early 60s, uh, that were laid off uh, due to no reason of their own right. when the economic decline did come and are just hanging on, uh, looking you know, between jobs that they don't have the opportunities that they had uh, back then, which is unfortunate because there's a tremendous amount of history and, and talent in mm -hmm. that group. So. Uh, again, uh, because in the Leanne's program. flashing her cards, yeah, oh, yeah. and everybody goes, ah! <laughs> uh, so, again, we have available the great shift. The great Where shift. have all the it workers very gone? interesting. And also a safety net or a trap, government benefit programs and their impact on employment, which is another great, great piece of information. It kind so, of maybe ties in with some of that? Yes, it does. Because we were talking about exactly that, the does. reliance on, you right. know, is it... You know, is the assumption that it's it's okay not to work? I'm being taken care of. That and and uh, one of the when we talk about uh, uh, benefits, government benefits, uh, there's a tremendous increase on disability, and one of the reasons, of course, for that increase is is because if the states are more than willing to turn around and get as many people off of welfare, et cetera, and get them onto disability, because they're, therefore the federal government pays for the dis disability. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, again, a lot of changes, a lot of changes in the workforce. Uh, I can say that um, we're at three minutes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Uh, I can say that for today's HR or any company, small, medium, or large, that indeed as you're planning and it, uh, you're planning for your um, uh, human resources, needs to be extremely strategic at this point mm -hmm. and good fast and cheap just doesn't cut it and right. uh, because they're the workforce just isn't out there and it's a different type so we need to prepare ourselves yeah. and many companies are taking those steps uh, but again it needs to be uh, it can't be just let's try this today oh gosh that doesn't seem like it's working let's mm -hmm. try this tomorrow right. uh, or a combination of everything maybe it'll all work it really needs to be well planned out and over a period of time okay so and and again you're involved in that and can very much help businesses Absolutely. along that line. That the is work. why that is why Express is here, that is why these white papers are here. And that's understanding where your the workforce the exactly workplace. comes yeah. from and, and how you can help manage right. some of that. Okay, we want to leave a little bit of time since Betsy <laughs> <laughs> <it's like laughs> took it all it's flashing. But two, two minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> She's flashing. Oh, I'm her sorry. She's flashing time cards. cards that Oops. say how much time we have left. Yes, exactly. I don't want to give people the her, wrong her flash cards. Um, the Refresh Leadership 2015. Now, the Refresh Leadership um, webinar, teleconference, simulcast, simulcast. simulcast. It has been going on for several years now, right? This would be the sixth year. Okay, sixth more than year. several. Sixth year. Mm -hmm. um, and what's on the lineup, Josh, for this this coming? Spring? Well, this year, April 15th April is 15th. the date. Ooh, tax day. Set your date. Yes. <laughs> 
come relax with us. <laughs> uh, <laughs> your text. That's right. This year we will have Damon John okay. from the Shark Tank. If anybody's watched the Shark Tank, and also I don't he know is the, the Shark Tank, but <gasps> you have to watch I? it. Oh, okay. Yes, Sorry. absolutely. And he is also the president and founder of FUBU Clothing. Okay. So that's one person in our lineup. The next person is Mike Dicka, okay. the legendary football coach yep. for the Chicago yeah. Bears. So that's Go always Bears. exciting. He's he's always got a, a pleasant attitude and just a good sense of energy that he I brings to everything. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And last but not least, we have Dan Aykroyd. Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. Cool. And he's going to be. Lineup. Yeah, you know, he's going to be talking about his his different roles that he's done in his lifetime. You know, as an actor, comedian, businessman, mm -hmm. um, Producer, director, yeah. Blues Brothers, yeah, Ghostbuster. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the whole nine <laughs> yards. He's going to cover the whole gamut and what those things and the, some of the leadership he's had in his lifetime, okay. and how it's it's changed and added some essential things in his career. So oh, wonderful. It's going to be exciting. And I'm sure Absolutely. we'll hear more about that as it gets a little bit closer. Yes. But again, April 15th, kind of get it marked on your calendar. This is something that people can attend here um, and, and really, uh, well, that's what I meant to say, attend and participate in yes. right here yes. being brought to express express offices across the nation yeah right. yes, which absolutely. is really a neat thing and we'll flesh that out a little bit more as we get a little bit closer so josh there your two minutes of fame you're up that's all i got that's all i got <laughs> thank you josh thank you betsy for joining us great information as always Fantastic. from express employment professionals and again uh, we do thank you for we being one of it. our major supporters here thank on the Rotunda Today Show. So thank you very much. Okay. All right, we're done now. <laughs> <laughs> Flashcards say we're done. <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll be right back to wrap it up. Bye. Hello, I'm David Einhaus with the Oatana Foundation. Thank you to all of our donors who have helped make Oatana a better place to live. Will you join us today with a financial gift? Oatana Foundation is a proud sponsor of the Oatana Today Show. Hello, my name is Katie Marshall. A year ago, my family and I became homeless. We were scared and alone. Today, with the help of Steele County Transitional Housing and generous donors like you, my family and I are safely housed. I am working, going to college, paying my rent on time. My children have a warm bed to sleep in every night. My family and I are so grateful for this second chance. Please help others in need by donating to Transitional Housing today. Everyone deserves a safe place to live. Yeah. It's time to wrap up here on this Friday, <laughs> November twenty-first. Man, they are just okay. It's been a it's been a fun day. Um, reminding you, of course, the 24th uh, Celebration Festival of Trees opening night gala is this evening. I'm kind of guessing it's sold out and everything, but tickets uh, have been available at Cashwise, Hy-Vee, Kotke Jewelers, and Insti Prince. I guess if you're seeing this early enough in the day, um, you can certainly um, check and see whether that is available, benefiting advocates for developmental disabilities serving Steele County at the Holiday Inn and Suites. And please enjoy those trees also as they're up all the way through November 29th. The Give Hope concert, a Christian benefit with proceeds going to Homestead Hospice House and uh, Transitional Housing of Steele County will be tomorrow evening beginning at 7 at the Owatonna High School Auditorium. It's a free will donation to benefit those two entities and performing artists are many and varied. Uh, Michael and Tammy Furch and a lot of musicians that they know will be cycling in throughout the evening for about uh, just under a two-hour concert and some great beneficiaries there. Iris Turkey Trot we had on earlier this week. 5K walk, 5K and 10K run, gobble wobble and tot trot. It is the morning of Thanksgiving in Faribault beginning at the middle school with the check-in at 7 o'clock and then all sorts of um, great things going on there, all to benefit Iris or Infants Remembered in Silence. Um, so a great organization there and a really fun event that has grown and grown each year. So we're very glad to have them on and be promoting that. Okay, we need to let you know who's on next week and where did I put that piece of paper. So coming up next week, you'll have uh, City of Owatonna, the Owatonna Education Association Teacher Honoree Banquet, Toys for Tots, Salvation Army Bell Ringing, the Owatonna Area of Chamber of Commerce and Tourism Director, Owatonna or the Otto Bremer Foundation, and all of those are coming up on next week's lineup. Have a great weekend. We'll see you then.